Today I want to take a minute to talk about um, being happy and your own happiness and what that means. And I just watched a video from uh, my coach, Amy, and she was talking about how people think, oh, you know, I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when, so I'll be happy when I lose, you know, 30 pounds, I'll be happy when I get that next promotion in my job, um, all those kinds of things. And it's so important to find things today to be happy for and grateful for. And she was talking about how it's, you can think that you're going to be happy when those things happen, but there's so much expectations attached to that, that it usually ends up being when you reach those goals, you're still not happy because the thing that you need to change is inside. It's not about what's going on outside. And that's one of the other things that I've learned so much about the personal development that I've been doing lately and all the books that I've been reading is that it all starts within you. You can't grasp at tangible things that you feel are going to make you happy. Your happiness and your gratitude have to come from within your soul. It has to like make your soul on fire and just make you so passionate about what you're doing. And to be honest, until I found Beachbody, I never felt that way about any kind of career. I mean, I, I like my job, but with Beachbody, I just have this passion for helping people and it lets me help people every single day. And these people that I'm helping are actually looking for help. So to have that, that combination of the two people, one person wanting help, one person wanting to help, it's just brought this like beautiful friendship together. And it's made me so excited and so grateful that I've had this opportunity to be able to do that and help other people. And I mean, obviously helping other people is a huge part of it, but it's really helped myself so much in the process. You probably saw my video the other day where I was like almost in tears because I'm just so grateful for this opportunity and everything that it's it's done for me. But it's really about me having done the work myself as well. And that's one of the main themes. You know that November, um, I've been calling it No Excuse November. And I want you to ask yourself, you know, where are you going to be in three years? Are you going to still be making excuses? Are you going to be, you know, not happy with where you are in life? Because it's so important to make those changes now. Don't wait, you know, don't wait another day. Take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and just do what you want to do. It could be anything. Have you wanted to take a painting class? Go do it. Why Why wait? Why put it off anymore? Have you always wanted to, you know, become a dog walker because you love pets? Then go do that. You know, maybe if it starts being something that you do on the weekends and the evenings and then it develops into a full-time job, power to you. If that's what makes you happy, go do it. No Excuse November is all about setting those goals, dreaming those dreams, and taking those steps to make them come true. No more excuses. This is the month, this is the day that you can move forward and really grasp those things. So I challenge you today to sit down and write a list of maybe there's one thing, maybe there's three things, maybe there's 10 things that you've always wanted to do. And then start working towards checking those off your list because there's no better time than right now to change your ways and get started on a journey that will be able to help you, whether it's your health, whether it's, you know, and, and health doesn't, isn't just about losing weight. It's about your mental health as well. And that's been a huge aspect. And the funny thing is that they're all kind of linked together. When I've been strengthening my mental health with personal development, it's been helping me become even stronger physically to be able to finish my workouts because I have that drive in my mind that, yeah, I can accomplish this and I'm going to accomplish this and I don't give up. And that's all part of the No Excuse November theme. So I challenge you, again, to make that list. Think of those things. Where do you want to be in three years? And also I challenge you to make a list of things that you're grateful for today. I'm grateful for my family every single day. They make my life 
so happy. My husband, it was his birthday yesterday and we celebrated. I'm so happy that I get to call him my husband because he's an amazing man. I'm just so grateful for so many different things. It's raining outside today and I'm still grateful because guess what, I love the rain. <laughs> but you could be one of those people who just bitch and complain about everything or you can wake yourself up, wake up your soul and find things to be grateful for. So post below what you're grateful for. Post below what you want to be doing or send me an email and that's just celebratehealthychoices at gmail.com and let me know and I can help you work towards those goals. Even if it's not fitness related, I don't care. I just want to help people. So let me help you achieve your goals even if it's just bouncing them off another person. Two heads are better than one. So again, challenging for No Excuse November and I want to see those posts below. Have a great day. And remember, be fierce in your journey forward. You deserve it.